I think, I mean, you really got to look at it. If, I mean, I'm, it, it's almost, I'm almost to a point where I just say you got to make a change. Yeah. I hate it because I, I think Satterfield has good intentions. I think he's a good coach, but there was a, I would call it a pretty epic failure this year in the turnover category. Nebraska leads the country with 31, and most of them come from quarterbacks. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's, it's a remarkable situation. Usually remarkable situations lead to change. Well, and the fact that it was, you know, all three quarterbacks struggle right. with the same issue. So what's the one common denominator? Right. It's coaching. Well, Rule said that himself. Yeah. And so, you know, Rule, obviously, he's, he's the guy that always says, put the blame on me. But, you know, your OC is the guy supposed to be working with the quarterbacks. Mm -hmm. So that's a direct reflection on his work. And yeah. so if you have that opportunity, I think, to maybe – Take some of that off Satterfield's plates. Maybe we can yeah. focus some more on, on some, some bigger picture offensive things and have someone completely dialed into working with those quarterbacks, working on their mechanics and, and their decision making with the football, both holding on to it and where they throw it. Uh, that might be uh, the best case scenario as far as potential reshuffling, as we say, of this offensive staff. Well, what about the play calling duties? So it'd be one thing because number one, Marcus Satterfield makes $1.4 million on a three year contract, guaranteed. Um, so he's locked into a contract. Um, so I, I can't imagine that being changed. So would you, if you did something like this, would you do co-coordinators? I don't, I don't think so. I wouldn't. Or would you just keep Satterfield as a coordinator, have him work with tight ends? That's what I would do. Mm -hmm. Here's the deal. Now, well, Josh here, Martin theoretically could still stay here. Right. And here's just go the, back to the analyst role. Here's the deal. This is where you have to defend Satterfield a little bit. The, the, the whole thing. The injuries. The injuries and what he had to work with mm. even before that long list of injuries started in august and september we didn't think nebraska was all that gifted personnel wise and then they got hit by injuries mm. so satterfield if you're defending him you would say well what did he have to work with yeah. and some of those turnovers are just a product of not having much to work with he didn't these weren't his quarterback. Well, Sims was. That's the, now that now that that's a huge strike against that's Satterfield. Yeah, Sims Jeff is a huge strike against Marcus Satterfield and yeah, Rule. Yeah, th that was their guy, Jeff Collins, that suggested or Georgia led them. Tech, yeah. And and were there other quarterbacks even in discussion, or did all the chips go right to Jeff Sims? And do you remember, you guys, you got to think back. They sold him really well. They sold Jeff Sims really well. I mean, I recall that conversation we had in, in Texas. Belton, Texas with Satterfield where he was very convincing about Sim's ability and and the strides he has made. It was and I, you know, and that's what you do. I get it. That's what that's what that's what you do as a coach generally. But you don't have to be as complimentary as Satterfield was. You don't have you can dial it back a little bit. He wasn't dialing anything back. And maybe I always thought in the back of my mind was maybe what he's doing is through the media trying to bolster Sims' confidence, knowing that he's had issues. And maybe if we just pump him full of confidence, that can help. Maybe that's a lesson learned on his end, too, right. where uh, everything you say in front of a microphone or otherwise uh, here at Nebraska is going to be blown up to epic proportions. And it was. One well, way or the other. And they, so they also saw enough from Sims to – tell Casey Thompson that it'd be you're not going to get a great look mm -hmm. if you stick around. I mean, or he didn't like what he heard, right, Rob? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I, that's a hard one to get a whole hand Well, on. did he just leave on his own accord is what I'm – Casey. Did he just say, I'm out? My read has always been Casey done. wanted, you know, uh, some assurances that he was going to have an opportunity. Now, Casey Thompson got hurt. He's out for – he was out for the season anyway. So, yeah. um, I – and anyway. they, they wanted a runner. They wanted a physical guy that could run because they knew their limitations already on offense, even God. before the injuries. So they thought the quarterback run game would help them to an extent. And Casey couldn't really execute that physically. No. He could do it a, for a game or two, but could he have gone 12 games with the hits those quarterbacks think, took? Think of the hits. No. Think of the hits that Harburg took. And you know. could Casey take those at his size and his injury history? I don't well, think Well, Casey so. took a shoulder injury but and he played through it. Here's the deal, though. They wouldn't be running Casey Thompson like they did Harburg. You talk about the limitations. They had to run Harburg like that because he was so limited as a thrower. And when you think about what this offense was this season, it was three different schemes. 
They had a scheme with Jeff Sims and what he could do. They had a scheme with Harburg and what he can do. And they had a scheme with Purdy for what he could do. Mm -hmm. And all were extremely limited in one way or another. So if you want to go back to defending Satterfield and, and mm -hmm. rule with how they called plays this season, a lot of it had to do with what they could and could not do mm -hmm. with three different quarterbacks over the course of 12 well, games. It's only fair. It's only fair to consider that when you're talking about Satterfield. But, what I've done is make the distinction between Satterfield as the play caller and Satterfield as the quarterback's coach. Mm -hmm. And Satterfield, I'd make, I'd make the distinction because of the turnovers. You, you couldn't get that under control. I mean, that it's just surprising to me. It never got, it never got under control right to the end. And it cost them dearly in those last four games. Mm -hmm. In the last four games, turnovers killed them.